Hello, all you big, beautiful brains out there. Today, we're going to talk about how your vision impacts your taste. Before we get started, take a minute to subscribe to Psy vs. Psy. Help out your friendly neighborhood psychologist while I tell you all about how your vision impacts what you taste. So the other day, I made dinner for my toddler only for them to proudly announce, I don't like that. After I collected my hurt feelings from up off the floor, it got me thinking about how much what we see with our eyes impacts how we taste things. One of the reasons vision plays a big role in taste is because it's likely that our expectations matter when eating. We expect for flavor to match color. For instance, say someone hands you a drink that tastes orange. Since it tastes like orange, we would also expect it to be orange in color. If it was something completely different like purple or red, it would violate your expectations you probably wouldn't like that orange drink simply because it didn't match what you thought the color should be based on your prior experience. A 2010 study also demonstrated that this works in reverse. Color generates an expectation for certain flavors. In the study, experimenters varied the taste of a drink, making it taste more or less like the participant expected to see how much attention participants paid to the color of the drink. For instance, for a purple drink, most of us would expect a grape flavor. When presented with a similar flavor like cranberry, participants still paid attention to that purple color. It was kind of close enough. But if that purple drink was vanilla flavored, participants wouldn't pay as much attention to color as a cue for taste. Most recently, the research being conducted on the relationship between vision and taste has focused on the idea of cross-modal correspondence. Cross-modal correspondence is the idea that one sense can greatly impact the way something else is perceived, even if the two things don't really seem to have much to do with each other. And this can really be about any sense. For instance, hearing a certain sound can make it, you expect to see a certain shape. Or for what we're interested in, taste and vision, research indicates that the color we see impacts aspects of taste like smell and flavor and maybe even texture. We have some more videos coming out about cross-modal correspondences really soon. But if you're looking to read more in the meantime, I'll put some links in the description down below. If you want to know more about your taste, make sure you subscribe to Psy vs. Psy so you can get all of our other videos and you can learn all about the science of psychology. Until next time, keep thinking and I'll see y'all later. Bye. And don't worry about the toddler hurting my feelings, by the way. It, it really did look pretty gross.